Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we will be talking about the best revision websites and resources that you can possibly use for your GCSE exams. Yes, it's for year 11. So I'm finally making a video for year 11 because I realized that marks are really close and I haven't made a video on them yet. This one's about resources and websites, but then there'll be another video coming about specifically how to revise mocks. So stay tuned for that. But without further ado, let's just get straight into the video because there's a lot of resources we've got to go through. The first revision website is Seneca. Now Seneca is really easy to use, really easy to understand. It's basically got loads of questions of certain subjects and topics and you just go through the exercises and you'll suddenly have a good understanding of the topic you're trying to go through. And it's also available for every single GCSE subject, for nearly every single exam board. So even if you have a really niche exam board, it probably will have it. Anki, I love Anki. Anki is a flashcard app or slash website. You can use it to make flashcards. Alternatives include Quizlet, which you can also use to make flashcards, and Remnote. All three of these apply space repetition and active recall, which is what makes them really good. Anki, you can use for languages and you can use for sciences. I use them for my sciences and I got all nines in every single science. PMT, physics and math tutor. It's got loads of past papers. It's got mind maps, it's got notes, it's got flashcards. It's basically just got so many things that you need for all three sciences for GCSEs and maths i think it has maths yeah it does have maths for english literature we have spark notes it basically turns the text of what you're reading into something that you can more easily understand and i'm pretty sure it also has some analysis to help you as well cognito everyone preferred free science lessons which is another one it's a youtube channel where you can learn about all three sciences and it's a website with loads of past papers and ways to revise but cognito was always the best one for me because it just had illustrations which helped you understand things better and it's also got a website similar to seneca but just for the three sciences and it has one for maths as well. Now I never liked it and because I do a level physics, I still use it, but using Isaac physics for GCSE physics could help you. You may like it, but it's basically just loads and loads of physics questions. Most of them mass based. I don't know if it has any theory based physics questions for GCSE physics, but it's just got a lot of questions so you can use that for GCSE physics. Now Desmos is something that you can use just to be able to more easily understand and identify certain graphs so that's for GCSE maths but it's not something that you're supposed to really use every single day it's just to be able to understand graphs better and that's all. One resource is to actually get a graphical calculator. Now you don't really need one for GCSEs in fact you don't need one at all even the um, Casio um, FX991EX class with I can't remember what they're called, but the white calculators. You don't need those either, but the white calculators and the graphical calculators, if you have the money, because they're kind of expensive, they're really expensive. They're really useful because there's those are cheats that you can use to just answer questions for you in the exam. You don't have to show any work and you say, oh, I use the calculator, use the graphical calculator, and they will give you the marks and Graphical calculators especially, they can even draw graphs for you, so you don't even need to learn too much about graphs. But they are expensive, so this is only something that you should use if you have the money to do so. You should definitely use Pomo Focus. It's a website where you do Pomodoros and you can set how long you spend breaks and how long you do the actual work and how, how long are your long breaks. I use this throughout my GCSEs and I used especially 3510, I think, and then also 4010. You'll know what I mean if you go on the website. It's just really useful if you want to be able to stay motivated whilst you're doing work, but at the same time, get a lot of work done. Primrose Kitten is a good YouTube channel for all the sciences and even some extra GCSE subjects. She does a lot of videos where she condenses the entire syllabus into one video, and it's just good for a recap. And she also has a website with loads of other things that are really useful. Me. Me watch my videos. <laughs> We've also got the specification in which I definitely use all the time to make flashcards and posters. Using the wording of the specification is really useful because that's the wording that they want to see in your exam papers. Now this may, uh, I don't know, 
Duolingo is a good language learning app. You can use it for your GCSE languages. It's not specific for GCSEs, but I definitely used it throughout for GCSE French, just on the side, just I don't know, five minutes a day or something. It could help a lot and it did help me a lot. Now the CGP workbooks have massive banks of questions. So on top of all the questions that you find online, CGP books have so many questions that you can do, find the answers to and just improve your exam technique. There's also revision guides that you can use from CGP that are also really useful because they're often much easier to understand than if you're reading it from your teacher's lesson or the specification. Use your teachers, they are so important. For example, I was really struggling with GCSE RE. I, I got a nine in, it, in the end, but only because I went from a six to a nine. My teacher helped me all the way through. I always asked her for help when I needed help and always asked her to, oh, can you please mark these questions for me so that I can improve? Just use your teachers they are here for a reason definitely use maths watch for maths i'm sure your teachers are already using it to maybe set you some maths on work but if not maths watch is a very good website it's got loads of questions so many questions that you can do just for some extra maths practice because really all you need to do to revise maths is understand the topic and then do practice questions on it and maths watch has those practice questions mr Bruff is a good english revision youtube channel but then there's also everything english and mr sells sorry if i missed anyone else but they're just really good people to watch if you want to re revise english language and english literature physics online has a website and a youtube channel to help with gcse physics i also still use it for a level physics now here are some youtubers that you also may want to subscribe to and watch and i'll also leave them link in the description um, because they just also do gcse content just like me and that can help you so there's abdullah khan James Jenkins, Shiggs, Ahmed K. Raja. And I'm pretty sure that's all. If I missed anyone, again, my bad. So yeah, they do GCSE advice videos, so you should definitely go check out their channels. There's other people who did GCSE advice videos, but I'm talking about the ones that still do them. Finally, I've got Notion, which I still use to organize my life today, and it's the sponsor of this venture. It's not the sponsor of this video, but I use it to organize my life and it's very useful. I have a to-do list on it. I have just everything in my daily life on it. I have all my super curriculums, my UCAS. Everything is on my Notion. It's just a great way to get organized for GCSEs. I'm sorry that I made every single website I mentioned so brief. It's just that there's, there was a lot to get through, but hopefully you'll be able to use a lot of these websites effectively. And hopefully you learned about new websites that you hadn't heard of before that you can now use to revise for your GCSE marks and in the future for your GCSEs. So I hope this video helped you a lot. I will see you in the next video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and have a nice day.